Have you ever wondered if the giants of our childhood fairy tales might have actually walked the earth? The towering figures of lore from Norse Jotun to Greek Titans, from biblical giants like Goliath to the colossal beings of Native American legends, are inscribed in the annals of our collective memory. These tales have been passed down through generations but could they be more than just stories? Could these mythical beings have once roamed the same ground we tread today? The notion might seem outlandish but the intriguing prospect of their existence has been a subject of fascination for many. From the curious layman to the dedicated scholar the idea of real-life giants has sparked debates, ignited imaginations and prompted scientific investigations. As we peel back the layers of history, the line between myth and reality becomes increasingly blurred. So, let's start our journey back in time, delving into the earliest evidence of giants. From the mighty titans of Greek mythology to the Jotun of Norse legends, giants have been a part of our cultural consciousness. These colossal beings towering over the landscape and the heroes of the tales weave themselves in and out of our cultural narratives, leaving an indelible mark on our collective imagination. In the east we find the Daitorobachi of Japanese folklore, a giant so large it could move mountains. In the Americas, native tribes speak of the Wendigo, a monstrous cannibalistic giant from the cold northern forests. In the ancient stories of the Middle East, we encounter the Nephilim, the offspring of divine beings and humans. These myths, spanning cultures and millennia, all share a common thread, the existence of beings of extraordinary size and strength. These narratives have not only shaped our understanding of the world, but also sparked our curiosity and wonder. But these myths raise a tantalizing question, could these stories be rooted in truth? Our first stop on this chronological journey takes us to the biblical tale of David and Goliath. A story of a shepherd boy, David, who, armed only with a sling, defeats the giant warrior Goliath, a Philistine champion from Gath. This tale, deeply rooted in the annals of history, paints a vivid picture of giants coexisting with humans. The story of David and Goliath is more than just a heroic saga. It's a testament that gives us our first glimpse into the existence of giants. The towering figure of Goliath, described as standing over nine feet tall, certainly fits the bill for a giant. Through this narrative we get an inkling of how giants were perceived in society, as formidable, intimidating, and often, adversaries to be conquered. This tale may be ancient but it certainly wasn't the last time giants made their mark on history. Fast forward to 1912, when an unusual discovery was made in Lake Delavan, Wisconsin. In this tranquil setting, a team of archaeologists unearthed a burial mound containing skeletons of extraordinary size. Some of these skeletal remains measured as tall as nine feet, with skulls that were much larger and differently shaped than those of modern humans. The peculiarity didn't end there. The skeletons also boasted six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot, a trait often associated with giants in ancient lore. The archaeological community was abuzz with the discovery. Rigorous scientific analysis followed, with experts examining the bones for signs of disease, abnormal growth, or other explanations for their unusual size. Despite their efforts, no definitive conclusions were reached, leaving the mystery of the Lake Delavan giants unsolved. These skeletons sparked a flurry of theories and speculation about the existence of giants. Even today this extraordinary discovery continues to intrigue and puzzle scholars, fueling our fascination with the possibility of giants in our past. Where did these giants come from, and how did they fit into human history? These are questions that have puzzled scientists for decades. Different theories have emerged over time to answer these intriguing questions. Some believe that these giants were a separate species of hominids, much like the Neanderthals. This theory posits that these giants may have coexisted with early Homo sapiens, living in isolated pockets around the globe. Others, however, propose a different explanation. They suggest the giants were merely exceptionally large individuals, the result of certain genetic conditions that drive excessive growth. Conditions like gigantism or acromegaly could have resulted in individuals towering over their contemporaries, hence being remembered as giants. There are also those who lean towards a more mythical explanation, believing these giants to be supernatural beings or deities, as depicted in various mythologies. This theory aligns with the cultural and religious narratives of many societies where giants are revered or feared as gods or demigods. Yet the debate doesn't stop at the origins of these giants. There's a whole other layer of discourse surrounding the validity of the evidence. While some researchers affirm the authenticity of giant skeletal remains, 
others remain skeptical, attributing them to hoaxes or misinterpretations. For instance, the discovery of giant bones has often been linked to extinct megafauna like mammoths or giant sloths, mistakenly identified as humanoid. Others argue that some supposed giant remains are merely the result of cleverly assembled normal-sized bones. In this context, the search for definitive proof becomes a labyrinth of claims and counterclaims, making the task of discerning fact from fiction all the more challenging. This ongoing debate among scientists, historians, and archaeologists is what makes the topic of giants so fascinating and complex. It's a journey through mythology, history, and science, each offering its own perspectives and interpretations. Despite the disagreements, one thing is clear, the idea of giants has left an indelible mark on our culture and history. So were giants merely the stuff of legends, or did they truly walk among us? This question has intrigued humanity for centuries, sparking countless debates and inspiring a wealth of mythology. In the realm of mythology, giants are often portrayed as formidable beings, possessing immense strength and size. Nordic folklore speaks of the Jotun, colossal beings who clashed with the gods. In Greek mythos, titans were the divine giants who preceded the Olympian gods, while cyclops were known for their single central eye. Across the globe in Native American lore we find tales of the Wendigo, a malevolent giant spirit. These are but few examples of how giants have permeated our collective consciousness through myth and legend. But what of the real world? Have there been genuine discoveries that suggest the existence of these colossal beings? The answer is intriguingly complex. Throughout history there have been numerous reports of giant skeletal remains. Some of these have been debunked as hoaxes or misinterpretations, while others remain shrouded in mystery. Then, there's the compelling enigma of giant footprints. Take for instance the footprints found in the San Jose, California area. These massive impressions in the earth are said to measure up to 24 inches long, an astonishing size that far exceeds the dimensions of a typical human foot. Scientists and skeptics alike have endeavored to explain these prints, with theories ranging from ancient megafauna to geological anomalies. However, it's crucial to approach these findings with a blend of curiosity and skepticism. While they tantalize us with the possibility of giants, they also remind us of the human tendency to seek patterns and create narratives, even when the evidence might be ambiguous or inconclusive. So, were giants merely the stuff of legends or did they truly walk among us? The jury is still out on this question. But one thing is certain, these towering figures whether real or imagined, have left an indelible mark on our stories, our culture, and our understanding of the human condition. Though the existence of giants remains a mystery, their impact on our culture and understanding of human history is undeniably real. Whether fact or fiction, giants have shaped our history, our culture, and perhaps even our evolution. The towering figures we've come to know from myths and legends have seeped into our collective consciousness, influencing our art, our traditions, and our understanding of the world. Delve into the annals of art history and you'll see giants depicted in a myriad of ways. From the fearsome Goliath in biblical paintings, to the gentle giant in children's storybooks, these beings evoke a sense of awe and wonder inspiring countless creative expressions. Traditions too bear the indelible mark of giants. Consider the folk dances that reenact battles with giants, or the festivals that celebrate vanquishing these colossal creatures. These traditions serve as a testament to the enduring fascination we have with the idea of beings larger than life. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of the giant narrative is its potential implications for human evolution. Some researchers speculate that giants were actually an offshoot of early hominids, a species that branched off from our ancestors. This theory, while controversial, opens up a realm of possibilities. Could these giants have competed with our ancestors for resources? Did they influence our evolution by driving us to develop tools, strategies and social structures to survive? It's also worth considering the psychological impact of giants on our ancestors. Imagine living in a world where beings twice your size roamed the earth. The fear, the respect, the intrigue they must have inspired could have shaped our early societies, driving us to form alliances, build fortifications and create narratives to make sense of these intimidating figures. Of course, these are all speculations. The existence of real giants remains unproven, their impact on human evolution merely a theory, yet the cultural significance of giants is undeniable. They have shaped our art, our traditions and our stories, leaving a legacy that continues to captivate us. So, next time you read a fairy tale featuring a giant remember, there might be a grain of truth in those old stories after all.